asking about the most effectual way uh, to maintain hifz, the best way to memorize and the best way to retain it. When it comes to memorization, as a student, ask yourself, how long do you want that memorization to stay with you? If you want to remember it for a year, there's a way to, there's a way to memorize it. If you want to keep that memorization with you for two years, three, four, five, ten years, there's a way to memorize it. But if you want to keep it with you forever till you meet Allah, then there is completely different method of memorization. I've mentioned this uh, method in my book, um, Arabic Ridiculously Simplified. I've mentioned that in that book, but I will share that with you here, inshallah, tabarak wa ta'ala. If you want to keep your memorization, whether it's Quran, Hadith, uh, books of um, fiqh, books or whatever that you want to memorize, even our academics book, um, um, the academic books that we have, you want to memorize some, you still can do so. But how? If you want to remember only for a few months or for a few years, you can cram them. But if you want them with you forever, Never cram. Never choose rote learning if you want to retain something forever. The first thing that you have to do, if it is Quran, you have to have somebody to read it to you. Never read it by yourself or memorize by yourself. If this is doable, the first one to do it would have been Prophet Sallallahu For one, he is pure Arab. Two, nobody spoke Arabic like him. Three, Jibreel Amin could have actually done it from seven heavens for Prophet to see him directly on earth and he's seen Jibreel. But did, this did not take place. So do not do it over Skype. Do not do it over, you know, means of, you know, uh, media. If you, there's no way, then we can say maybe. But if you have a way to sit in front of a sheikh, that's the best. Listen to him and repeat that page. Once you finish having that page, you have to know that when you memorize, you're capturing that page to your memory. So here, what do you do? You're trying to get the picture of that page to your memory. First, break it into three. Break the page into three. The first section, you're going to read it back and forth at least, at least 33 times. Just at least 33 times. Remember... You're not memorizing to forget right away. You're memorizing to remember forever. 33 times. After that, start memorizing it, you know, line by line. Example. وَلَقَدْ وَصَّلْنَا لَهُمُ الْقَوْلَ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَذَكَّرُونَ وَلَقَدْ وَصَّلْنَا لَهُمْ وَلَقَدْ وَصَّلْنَا لَهُمْ You're going to read this 33 times back and forth while looking. When you finish, you're going to close that page and read the same thing. وَلَقَدْ وَصَّلْنَا لَهُمُ الْقَوْلَ 33 times. When you finish now, you read it 33 times looking, 33 times without, move to the next ayah. Do the same thing that you did to ayah number one. When you finish, combine both and read them 33 times again. When you finish, close that mushaf and put it aside. In the evening time, if you've done this in the morning time, Evening time, come back and do the same thing that you did in the morning. Later on, you see yourself, those verses will be back and forth in your memory forever. And guess what? If you say, this is time consuming, this takes too long, that's too long, I can't do it. You're going to spend the rest of your life trying to reveal. And whenever you reveal, it's not going to be solid and vivid in your memory. So the time that you're spending to memorize is actually cutting the time of revision by the time you finish. So instead of reviewing 30 minutes, one hour, when you finish based on this method, you will see yourself when you read two, three minutes, the ayat are in your memory just like you just memorized them. So follow the method and take it easier. So this is what I can say to our brothers in um, Nigeria and our brothers here in Texas and those who um, would like to also share this with ink.